Hey folks, it's April Holly Smith and I'm back. Oh, it's confession time. So I know that you've been following me through this no spend timber. You've been with me with my grocery budget. You know, I went from $100 a week to $20 a week. I want to spend $100 for the whole month. I have grand plans and I could still do that. I have one Friday left. One more round of grocery shopping. So this weekend, this past weekend, the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, it's a big deal in my, my hometown where I live. It was the Akron Marathon. So the Akron Marathon, you know, happens every year in like September. And I, I'm just, I, I, I don't even know how to, it's a lot, it's a little like Christmas. It happens every year. Dude, it's not a surprise that this is happening. Every year, I either I run. Uh, yeah, I've actually run the full marathon, the Akron Marathon twice. I finished once, and I hurt myself one time. Um, I've run the relay twice. Um, I volunteer at the events. I volunteer on Thursday to go into the John S. Knight Center and set up the expo, which is super hard work but it's super fun everyone has such a great attitude that i volunteer on friday at the expo um last year i gave out men's size large marathon jackets uh to runners this year i did check-in for half marathoners lots of work lots of people we saw i saw got bibs for got bags but the fact is oh and then on on Saturday, the actual marathon, I volunteered at Stan Hewitt Hall as a course worker. I, um, I got to set up cones <laughs> for the turn off Portage Path into Stan Hewitt Hall. Uh, if you're not local to Akron and Ohio, look up Stan Hewitt Hall. It's a huge estate of F.A. Cyberling, which started Goodyear and Cyberling tire rubber something, um, it's a beautiful Tudor mansion, and my whole my whole goal or my whole job is to get everyone to turn off the road into the estate and to follow the cones around. Yeah, the Akron Marathon wrecked my no spend temper. I was doing so good. I I didn't spend anything. It wasn't 100% planned, 100% pre-saved for, 100% grocery, diapers, necessities. You know, when you get to the expo, some of the best things about the expo is, of course, the sales. I typically am not like some folks that go in and well, want to buy shoes, you know, because I always caution you, don't buy new shoes at the expo and then wear them to the marathon. No, I'm not. I don't do that. But almost every expo has one of these. And because I, you know, Akron is just right here. I'm in, in the middle of town. It's like two miles away from me where the expo is. They almost always have what, and we call it a vintage shop. And that just means old leftover premiums that they didn't, sell out of and they deep discount these and as a runner as an aspiring runner as a person who in general likes athletic stuff it's like the best place ever to buy running gear because it's the good quality stuff it's not like t-shirts it's it's tech fabric wicking fabric it's all of those most expensive things and you can just get stuff for cheap five ten dollars it's the best I didn't plan for it I sure didn't budget for it oh I went in that vet that that vintage store and I have to tell you it was like I've never heard of no spend timber I went a little nuts to show you what I bought and tell you how much I spent 
Okay, well, here's here's what I got. So first and foremost, this orange shirt, which is of course gonna slide down now. This was the relay shirt for last year, 2015. It is crazy, crazy orange. It's short sleeve. So this was $5. $5, yay. Then I got this shirt, which was the Team Relay for 2012. Has a cool graphic on it. Relay, you know, handing off the band. This was $5 also. All short sleeves were $5. Tech shirt. It's Brooks. Size ginormous for me. Good times. Then I got I got the free runners premium bag because when I checked out I had so much stuff I was like oh, I need a bag and they didn't have like plastic grocery bags or t-shirt bags so they just gave me one of the runners free bags so I got that I got this hat now let me tell you that this hat I have gotten in the past I wrapped it up for myself and put it in my Christmas stocking or I thought I did nope I put it in my father-in-law my stepdad Shane's stocking so he made off with my Akron half marathon hat which I think and loved it fits amazing it works great lost it so I got this and it's a good thing because I know that there was only like five or six on the table and when I came back because I couldn't just, I didn't limit myself to just one pass. The second time they were all gone so I was really glad I got it. Then I got three pairs of Swift Wick compression socks um, and they're really cool. These black ones say 26.2 finisher. Last year, if you finished the marathon, you got these. There's actually a pair that is blue with the black writing, and that was the 13.1. And I got one of those, too. These were, I think, $5 a piece. And I, so I got, like, one pair on my first pass. Then I got last year's marathoner premium jacket this is the ladies and it's a little different it's not just like the men's it does have this cute runners the rubber city marathon race series this is the men's it has a logo on the front which the women's does not these were twenty dollars a piece so I got I always get a jacket from the previous year Got, I, they generally get one for me and one for Chris. So I got the extra large women's and the extra large for him. So we both got a jacket. Then Now these two are regular t-shirts. I have one in his size and one in mine. These are just regular t-shirts. They are from the, um, the All Roads Lead to Akron 8K and One Mile Race. I didn't go to that. It was a special premium. But the second time that I went in to the, sh the vintage store, I'm so embarrassed. So I spent $50 the first time. I spent $20 and $20, two jackets. And then I got the two short sleeve relay shirts, $50. As I was leaving the expo at the end of my shift on Friday, I went back in and, you know, the later in the day, the more marked down it is because they want you to take it so they don't have to package it back up. BOGO. T-shirt. These t-shirts, these were $10 a piece, but it was buy one, get one. So they were $5 or five dollars a piece. I got buy one, get one. Socks. They were $10. Buy one, get one. Same thing. I got two of those. And then I had the one pair from earlier. Now, I did actually buy something from a vendor this year, which almost, I don't think I've ever bought anything from a vendor. I think I've gotten some, I've gotten lots of free samples, free food, but I've never gotten, well, these. Now, 
I'm going to tell you that this is not something that I can get in Walmart. This is not something I can get in Target. These are special running band, headbands, and these work. I actually have some of these, and I will fight you tooth and nail <laughs> to keep hold of these. Um, these are Chica bands, and they had all of their glitter or sparkle bands on special for $5. So I got two. I have a green one already in exactly the same, only I think mine might be a tad whiter, but I really like it. It might be the, the width of this red one as opposed to this skinnier, but I got this new red color and I have a, a green one. My green one's starting to get a little stretched out, but I've had it for almost three years. And I will tell you, they do not move when you run. They don't move when you fiddle around. It, they are just the best things ever. So I got two of those. I spent $10. So I spent $50 the first round in the vintage store. I spent $15 the second round. Oh, and they gave me a, a volunteer discount too, which was even more awesome. But I don't know if they were supposed to, so don't tell the Akron Marathon folks. And then I spent $10 here for these headbands. So I spent $75. Boom, out of nowhere. Yeah, the Akron Marathon and no spend timber. I don't know. I guess I'm not sorry I got all of it because I love it. But, you know, we all have moments of weakness. So, if you have a moment, please click subscribe. Thumbs up on the video. We're all human. We all <laughs> make spending choices. If you have had a epic surprise um in no spend timber let me know what you what it was how much did you spend maybe um are you super ashamed i don't know that i'm real ashamed i mean i love what i got i'm i'm sad that i broke no spend timber but i'm not sad i'm sad i didn't plan for this is what it is i i'm bummed i did not plan for it but it is what it is. Hey, don't forget to click subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate both of those. Happy budgeting. I'll see you next time.